to another episode of Suplex Society. <laughs> I'm here with Luis as my co-host, and I am C.E. C.E. You got it right this time. <laughs> I don't know how you get your own name wrong, but how okay. are you? I feel like shit. Me too. I'm in a lot of pain, but there's a lot of things going on in the WWE. And I'm not that agree with. What do you mean? What, what, what is it that you don't agree with? There's okay. Let's talk about Odyssey Jones. Odyssey Jones. Which one is he? Odyssey Jones. He's the one. He with... got. He, he was from NXT. He got drafted after WrestleMania to Raw. Okay. Then they didn't have anything for him. Now Biggie, you know Biggie. Odyssey. Okay. Odyssey Jones is the one with the New Day. Yeah, we'll get there. Okay. Okay. So Odyssey Jones, he just shows up. Because New Day has this thing going on with the new, the Final Testament, Carrying Cross, uh, AOP, Akum and Rezar. So those are their names. <laughs> yeah, that's their wrestling names. Right. Um, and then there's a girl. Her name is Scarlet. And then so it's four uh, people in this faction. Then there's a manager, Paul Ellering. He's been around for a while. He was in WCW. Gotcha. So, Karrion Cross is trying to. I think they're going to break up the New Day. Is that that's what they're trying to do? I really, truly think that's what they're trying to do because there was a six man tag team match last night where they beat the New Testament, but instead instead of tagging Xavier Woods, Kofi Kingston tagged Odyssey Jones, and there was a. You can see his mm. his discontent. Okay. But. That's how it always, usually how it always starts with the with, with a yeah faction. for sure. Uh, they should have done this a long time ago. I think the new days kind of. I, I was surprised uh, how long that faction has been. They've together. been around for a while. Yes, and usually, usually and, they'll find a way. Like you saw this with, with the shield. You've seen this with even with as the. What's the one with Triple H? Evolution and with Evolution, you see with most. Three plus, even two plus. Um, they break up somehow. They break up. Judgment and Day. And it's usually within a two to three year mark. Judgment Day. Judgment Day is another one. Did Judgment Day even make it a year? Yeah, they did. They started at WrestleMania. Edge was still here. Oh, so, but but then I, I, I guess I don't really count that because they've just switched partners all throughout. They right? have to. I think it, like now, now Judgment Day isn't even who originally was in the Judgment Day. Okay, so... Odyssey Jones, like I said. Going back to it. I don't... Like, he's been gone for, like... What? He, he was drafted to Raw in April. May, June, July. Four months. You got nothing to do with him, and then he just shows up. Yes, I get it. You're trying to break up and cause mayhem with the New Day. But at the same time, why would you have Carrie and Cross try to recruit him to the final testament and that's what's going on he's trying to make him he's trying to come in the middle of brothers pretty much you know i always thought xavier woods was too good for the new day i think in my opinion i think the new day has they reached their peak a long time ago their peak was uso versus new days oh my gosh the matches were that awesome. was their peak. Yeah, they hit their peak, and now they're not doing nothing. Yeah, because the Usos went with bloodlines. Because uh, Big E storylines broke his neck. Yeah, that didn't help. And then, I mean, they've been kind of stagnant. They haven't yep. won any titles. Yeah, they were at the top of the cards for a while, and now they're they're mid but to I lower mid card. They should have broke them up. I think they waited too long to do. It. I agree with that. Odyssey Jones, I don't know if they're trying to replace Big E. I don't know what's going on there. I just know it's causing friction between Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston. Okay. I, so how do you book this breakup? I think Xavier Woods needs it more than Kofi. It needs what? The New Day? or the... It needs the breakup. More than Kofi. I, I agree. So how do you, how do you book it? Like what, like when when you're talking about this. So happening. I think Xavier will turn on. If I were a booker, 
I would have Xavier Woods, like, stand, I mean, it's pretty much, hey, I'm going to tag you. Kind of like the old Eddie. Remember when Eddie Guerrero and Chavo Guerrero were a tag team and then <coughs> Chavo beat the hell out of him after losing the tag team titles to mm-hmm. Eminem? Yep. Johnny Nitro and Mercury, Joey Mercury. But, like, he just jumps off the ring and just leaves him. You think that's how it I think have... it's how it should go. Or they'll lose a match and then he'll just beat the hell out of him. I see Xavier Woods becoming a heel. But he needs a singles run. He hasn't. And, and, a... so, and that's where I was going with it. Because the way that I book it is. I feel like he should be in the United States title picture. I agree. The way I book it is a tag team match. Between or a triple threat match between uh, the New Day and the New Testament yeah. at a big pay per view, then he sabotages the match by bringing in some sort of a tool against New Testament, which pretty much cancels the match. Now it's a, a, disqualif- a disqualification. Yeah, 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 for sure. So you're thinking they're still on his on, on the New Day side. And then after he's done beating them up, he starts beating the new day up. Yeah. And then that's how he becomes here. Yeah, for sure. And he, he ad- ad- independentizes himself from both New Testament. Before the- Biggie got injured, they had kind of like planted the seed. It yeah. Was about a year ago, Biggie's been out for almost a year now. I thought it was longer than that, but you you would know better. It's than like that nine way. months. Okay. Nine or eleven. Nine to eleven months. Yeah. But. I mean, I don't know if he's ever going to wrestle again. We talked about that. I. He said that he was comfortable. He doesn't he need was. to come back. No. He, I mean, he, he was the WWE champion. I mean, the only one that hasn't had a single title in that group is Xavier, Xavier Woods. Woods. Yeah. And that's how you, that's how you book it. Yeah. Jealousy. Even Kofi Kingston had the the world champ. Yeah. No, was it the world championship. Yeah. For, he beat Daniel yeah. Bryan. Mm-hmm. The Earth. The Earth's right, right, champion yeah. or whatever. He had the the brown belt with the... Yeah. <laughs> made out of recycled material. It was <laughs> ugly as fuck. But, yeah, I mean, Odyssey Jones, I don't know. You can't replace a Big E. I mean, yes. Not, big, Odyssey Jones can... He's big and he can he can get going. Big E was Big E because of his build-up. Yeah. The, because he was they with were, Dolph Ziggler. He was with Dolph Ziggler and AJ Lee. And they built him up as as the strong man, right? The, the, he was Big E Langston. Big E Langston, time. I remember that. And he was the muscle, right? Yeah. And that's how I saw they built him up. They, he wasn't on, on. That's how Dolph won the world title. He, he was the muscle, right? Yeah, yeah. And and little by little, they moved him on to, to the New Day. But even at the beginning of the New Day, he New was Day still were, muscle. M- the New Day was healed too when they first started. Too. And it didn't start until they became uh, over. With the crowd, that they became... They organically... Yes. It was like night and day organically got over, yeah. and they yeah. had to switch them. But like I said, the New Day shtick is just not working in today's... They... Look, I think it can work if Biggie Langston or Biggie was to come was to be back in it. Yeah. I think right now he's been out for too long, that that rebuild would take too long. And I, th- I do think that the New Day has... Run their course. Yeah, for they sure. run their course, and it's time for better things for all of them. Unfortunately, the faction, factions always break up. Yes. In some way, shape, or form. Look at Evolution. They yeah. turned on Randy Orton. Yep. First it was Batista, then it was Randy Orton. Right. Or Randy Orton, then Batista, I'm sorry. Because he won the title, became the youngest world heavyweight champion in history. Right. At SummerSlam 2004 against Chris Benoit. If Benoit wasn't, didn't do what he did, he would be... In the Hall of Fame. Oh, absolutely. He would be, you know. Another thing that I don't agree with, for whatever reason, they turned damage control babyface. They're good guys now. Which one's damage control? It's got Dakota Kai, Eosky, uh, what is her name? Kyrie Zane, Asuka. Hmm. Asuka's injured right now. She hurt are, her knee. Are, are all of them from Japan? Uh, except for Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai's from the UK. Okay. 
I haven't heard Bailey much was them. in it. Really? Bailey was in it. Um, they came back at SummerSlam the year that Brock Lesnar faced Roman Reigns and he brought the tractor out. I remember that. Awesome. That's the first time my wife ever watched wrestling. Really? <laughs> and she she was like, what? This is fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> but it was one of the best matches I've ever watched. Yes. I kind of miss Brock, but he's there's a lot going on with Vince McMahon and all that stuff. And right. somehow he's been named he's, yeah. in this lawsuit. The Intercontinental Championship, Brown Breaker. There's a tournament starting next Monday. I don't know who's in it at this point. He's a Intercontinental. Okay. Uh, okay. Randy Orton. Both brands are just raw. Just raw. Okay. They're they're trying to split brands, yeah. but I I feel like they're gonna do a shakeup because Netflix wants Roman on Raw. I remember you saying that. Uh, it'll be on Netflix, and it sounds like they're going to two hours. That's for the best. I really think three hours is too long because yes. there's yes. there's not enough. Uh, <clears throat> the storytelling isn't there. Yeah. But wrestling's at a peak. <coughs> I agree. Look at our champions. Cody Rhodes is the universal champion. I really feel like his... He hasn't had that good feud yet. His title reign so far to me has been lackluster. Yeah. Because the first guy he faced was AJ Styles. They had some good matches. And, but even then, I feel like that was a filler. Like, th- there was no, like, rule. F- there was no but big the Vince, feud. Vince McMahon would have never booked that match. Yeah. When he was in charge of the creative, it would have never happened. Mm-hmm. When you look at, I mean, who else did he face? AJ Styles. He's facing Kevin Owens. I think they're about to turn Kevin Owens heel. Kevin Owens is a better heel than he is babyface. Yes. Look at his matches with Sami Zayn Mm -hmm. and NXT. Bangers. Yes. Uh, You know who's who's having good bangers at the moment? Andrade and fucking set. uh, What's his name? Carmelo Hayes. They've been having some great matches. Really? Great. And they're giving away them for free on On, on on SmackDown. On SmackDown. I have to get more into... Why do you watch them? Because I, I rely on you to give me. SmackDown is moving to USA. Are they going to be September 14th. On Friday still, or are they going to be on Mondays? It's going to be Fridays. Okay. As of right now. Tentatively, rumors are going around that they might move it from Friday. They might even move Monday Night Raw from Mondays. That should be interesting. Look, let's, let's, let's address Elephant in the Room. You said you wanted to change the format of how we do this. You yes. don't, no longer want to talk about what happened in Raw, what happened in SmackDown, which I support wholeheartedly. That means you're going to have to give me a summary of everything that happens because you are my go-to guy <laughs> for wrestling content. So, the biggest thing going on right now, CM Punk, Drew McIntyre, in a strap match. I remember you telling me that last week. They're going to take a belt, and they're going to be tied to Kind of like a Texas bull rope match. You ever watch? No. Eddie Guerrero, JBL, 2004, Great American Bash. I think that's when I just barely started getting into wrestling. Eddie Guerrero, love the guy. Rest in peace. JBL, great heel. Yes. Eddie Guerrero lost the match because, you know, Jim, you got to touch all four corners. That's what they're doing in this strap match. Oh. That sounds familiar. I think Punk wins this. I would book Punk to win this match. And then in October, you got, I think they're building toward a Hell in a Cell. And I want to see that match. I want to see them. I would be nice Hell in a Cell. I want to see them rip each other apart. But I think Punk needs it more than Drew. Because I agree. he lost the match at SummerSlam. And he's been injured. Was it you that told me that, that they're going to start utilizing him to develop talent in NXT? Yeah. And that's what he wants to do. And he's he's really... Uh, he's really like he's forgiven the way that yes. WWE treated him and how he got his release papers like they fired him on his wedding day yeah I remember I remember hearing about that and he talked a lot of shit that's why Seth Rollins hated him in real life not yes, just on yeah, TV there was a, some real life feud real life beef they would call each other out that's going to be a great feud if it ever happens I, and that look I think CM Punk deserves a title reign. He, he had the longest title reign up for until a Roman very long Reigns. time. Yes, it was like four hundred something days. I I think he deserves another run. Yeah, 
I think he deserves another run. And the best way to begin that feud, he's got to he's got to win this. Seth Rollins. He's got to win this feud with Drew. He needs that momentum. Who's Seth Rollins feuding with right now? Nobody. He's out. Bronson Reed took him out. Remember, he did like five tsunamis off the top rope. Mm. So they gave him time off. You know for how long? I'll probably be back in the next month. And, and this is where and I he's think... going to feud with Bronson Reed because Bronson Reed, they were supposed to have a title match in February at Elimination Chamber. Bronson. Which one's Bronson Reed? Big Bronson Reed. Um, he's from Australia. He was supposed to have. Ah, uh, okay. He was supposed to have. They were supposed to have a world title match, but Seth hurt his knee, and they went light schedule. Mm. Okay. Look, I don't think there's much more of a feud between. I don't. I'm not a big fan of. Um... Santos Escobar. No, what's his name? What's the guy who he's feuding with right now? Same Punk. Drew McIntyre. I'm not a big fan of Drew McIntyre. So I've watched him. I watched when he debuted in WWE. He was the chosen one by by Vince McMahon. He I must that. not be named. Right. Even though you've named him like three times. He had an Intercontinental Championship yeah. reign. They need the the mistake that they're making with Drew is that they didn't give him a they haven't given him a world title win in front of crap. They have to give him a and okay, in order to change my mind, because I, I, I'm not, I'm not a Drew McIntyre believer. I'm not. I, I, you I, need to go back and watch Gunther versus Sheamus versus Drew. But it's not even his 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 work in the ring. Because I, I believe that a lot of the talent now is very very talented. Yeah. I just don't believe him as a as a a. You as think a he heel. needs to be repackaged? I say I'm not. I don't even know. I just. He doesn't. He just turned heel. Like to, to me, I don't, I don't, I don't see him as that organic character. Like CM Punk is an organic CM Punk. Like you think of CM Punk, that's who it is, right? You know the crazy thing is, for ten years or eleven years, every time you hear him chant CM Punk, mm-hmm. he got over. Even when he was a heel, he used to do the, what is it called, like. He had like people shaving their heads and oh yeah, you had the I can't remember Straight society. Yeah, Straight society. And he does, he really lives that life. Oh, absolutely. But I think that's part of it. I think that's part of like becoming an authentic and character, Drew, right? Part of that has to be in you. And Drew was like, he asked him last night if he was drunk. Really? Yeah. I mean, they hate each other. Just let them rip each other apart. Hell in a cell, I'm telling you, they're building towards I'm, it. I'm done for seeing that. Like, I really am down. But I that's just... got to be... Hell in a Cell used to be end-all, be-all. You know, you watch the Hell in a Cell match with Shawn Michaels and Triple H. They hated each other's guts. Mm-hmm. You know, I still don't believe that they got back together that night, but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> uh, Santos Escobar, United States Championship match against... LA night this week. Okay. I like Santos Escobar. Were you the one that said that I look like Santos Escobar yes. that night? Yes. Okay. I'll San- take that as a compliment. He's a good looking guy. Santos Escobar, I like his work. He's in a group with uh, Legado del Fantasma. It's got. It's um, like a Hispanic um, group, right? Um, it's to rival. It was to rival LWO. Okay. But, I mean. I'd like to see that match, but I really want to see like Carmelo Hayes get a shot at the United States Championship, or uh, there's a lot of good up and comers. I think the problem right now in WWE, and correct me if if you think otherwise, is that there's too much good talent. Yeah, it's a great problem to have, but it's hard to legitimize and start. Building everybody. So together. Triple H is all for long term storytelling. And I love that. And it's shown. The thing is that we're I don't like the short title reigns. You have to legitimize a championship. It yes. can't be bouncing around like hot potatoes, you know. Do you, do you think that there's a 
an appropriate way to have a short title reign, or you think that short title reigns shouldn't exist? Because I mean, there are transitional champions. You know what a transitional yeah, champion yeah, is? Because they, they're there so basically, to... Edge. Okay, so back in 2006, Edge cashed in Money in the Bank after John Cena went through the Elimination Chamber. Yeah. He won the he won the match, but he was a transitional champion because like three weeks later he lost it back to John Cena at Royal Rumble. It was New Year's resolution. I don't consider that a transitional champion. I consider a transitional champion a champion that is there so that the one person who lost it doesn't look too bad by losing to somebody else. That's not the definition that they used though. Who who, who is they? WWE. Well, they, they, this is in their lexicon of transitional, transitional champions. champions are like, oh, you're just holding it to lose it to this guy. You know what I mean? Well, that's what I'm saying. But you can't but lose in it a to short the, amount of time. You can't lose it back to the same guy you won it from. That's what a transitional champion. But tra- is. transition means you transition from one person to the other. Yes, he transitioned it back. They, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> transition <laughs> is from you to me, not back to you. That's not a transition. <laughs> from you to me to me to Chesco. But Edge. I, I will give Edge props because he was a good heel with Lita. Like, yes, there was a real beef between him and, and Matt Hardy. Yeah, Matt Hardy. Because Matt Hardy was injured and Lita was fondling Edge. On live TV. <laughs> Her boob fell out. Yeah. You didn't see that? <laughs> but, I mean, you got all these stars. Carmelo Hayes. He could be a future world champion. Yeah. Like, Carmelo Hayes, Santos Escobar. He could win a singles title. He the, could legitimately win the United States Championship. The problem is that they can't all be that. No. But it makes good ratings. I mean, Andrade and Carmelo Hayes are having <coughs> bangers after bangers after bangers after bangers. Yeah. They're having phenomenal matches. Well, that's exciting. That's exciting. Like I said, it's a good problem to have, but it's a problem. The match that they had on Friday, Carmelo Hayes was trying to get him to, you know, acknowledge that he beat him, because now it was, because it started two to zero, because he was trying to get in with, uh, he tried to uh, flirt with Jade Cargill, and he was like, isn't he up like two zero on you? So he finally won a match. It's a, it's a really competitive match. Like they. They gel together in the ring. Um, they, 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 they're they good with yeah. each other. And it makes good ratings. Okay. I'll start watching some of their matches. Roman. Send, send me some of their matches. Yeah. Okay. I don't like how they're booking this Roman thing. What Roman thing? And be more specific. Solo tried to confront Roman. Roman comes out. He beats up everybody. And then he gets the hell beat out of him. Jacob Fatu. He's back? Is, he was running in a boot. I, I saw he had a boot. He was running in it. <coughs> they put that motherfucker through a table. Poor Roman. They put Roman through a table? Yes. The and announcer table, table oh, yeah. Okay. The only reason why I don't like it. Yes, I get it. Roman's got a schedule that he has to abide by. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, that's what's carrying SmackDown. Do you think it makes Roman look weak? Mm, not weak. More like, hey, what's next? For Roman? Mm-hmm. Even though he's feuding with the... He does, he's one of those people that doesn't need a title. Well, now they're using the... What is it called? The... the, the Yulafala. 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 Now they're using like Yulafala as if it was Yusho right? has a blue one. I know that. Oh, yeah, because the whole, yeah. But that has nothing to do with Head of the Table. It will eventually. Mm, ah, because it's going to be red versus blue? It's going to be OG Bloodline. And this is a rumor. Take it with a grain of salt. Fuck you. Get what? off your high horse. What? Oh, okay, okay. Can't be insulting our viewers like that, man. I'm not insulting. They're the only ones that pay our bills. But they're going to take it like, oh, take this with a grain of salt. I think they're planning some our Survivor Series. It's in Canada. I don't really want to go to Canada. But it's going to be OG Bloodline. Somehow, OG Bloodline versus Bloodline 2.0. 
Rock isn't due back until January for Raw. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, you know, things that... How do you build up to it? Yes, Roman just got his ass kicked. He needs, he needs bodies. So that's going to bring back Jimmy. Jimmy's cleared to wrestle. Jimmy Uso. What's the next pay-per-view? Bash in Berlin. Which is, it's coming up soon, right? August 31st. Or oh, the end of the month, okay. Streaming on Peacock. You gonna get it? You gonna buy it? You gonna get it? <laughs> <laughs> Shawn Michaels. Uh, the feud with Gunther and Randy Orton. I think that makes Randy Orton look weak. No, no, hey, let's go back to the bloodline. How do you book this bloodline thing? I mean, it's, it's going towards war games in November. Right. But with Roman's schedule, and I think he's still getting treatment for leukemia. Okay. Which, he's a beast for doing that. Mm -hmm. Wrestling and dealing with leukemia. Right. Jacob Fatu outshines everybody in Bloodline 2.0. Who, who's the one with the Alufala? Solo. Sokoa. So, so. Son of Rikishi. He got a big ass. That's all I got to say. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think eventually Roman gets the, the Ula Fala back. Eventually. Okay. But Solo did say if he gets the, uh, the Ula Fala, He'll acknowledge that He will acknowledge him. He's told Tama Tonga he has to acknowledge him. So I'm pretty sure that's what it's building toward. But I'm also thinking... Long-term storytelling. Mm -hmm. Roman Rock for WrestleMania 41 live. And I don't remember where. <laughs> uh, I don't know where WrestleMania... That's not Philadelphia. They had that this year. SummerSlam's in Minnesota. I can't remember. We'll get back to that. Do you want to know how I would book it? Yeah, sure. I would book it like this. So let's go with said that if Roman Reigns or wh whoever has the, 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 head of the table. is the head of the table, if Roman Reigns beats him or, or at the end of the day, whoever has it, that's who he will acknowledge, yeah. whether it's himself or not. I think that Roman Reigns will end up winning. it. So let's go is going to be. I think he becomes obsolete. I don't know. This is what I, I think. I think he's going to end up acknowledging. Uh, Roman Reigns as the head of the table, and moving towards OG, o o OG, uh, what do you call it? Bloodline? Yeah. Other ones, the other ones who are right now, which is uh, Jacob Fatu and who's the other one? Tongaloa. Tongaloa are not going to acknowledge. You think it's going to be a three way? So I I think that it's going to be them two first versus. Uh, Jacob Fatu and... Well, they did sign. Like, they signed a couple more. <laughs> so they... hey, wait, wait, wait. I'm not done. I'm not done. So I think it's going to be Jacob Fatu as he, himself is going to appoint himself as the head of the table because he's getting over I think he's going to... I think he's going to turn <coughs> on Solo eventually. So, hear me out, man. <laughs> I think Solo automatically goes to Roman Reigns, which... Brings the, the the feud between I think it's gonna be Roman Reigns versus uh, Roman Reigns and and Solo versus Jacob Fatu and the other guy. So I think that's gonna be one of their first matches. Them two. I think the other Uso comes back during that match. Now it's three against two. Now they start bringing up some of the people that they've already signed, and now little by little they start building their their. I think. Rock, uh, Rock is going to come out and say, "I control. I've been controlling." Perfect. I think all this is going to be built up towards WrestleMania. No, towards. Uh, He's not coming back to Royal Rumble. Towards Royal Rumble, at Royal Rumble, I think is when uh, Rock comes back yeah. and says, "Okay, my allegiance. I will have my my uh, my thing back. He'll so put on yeah. himself." I'll say you versus me at uh, WrestleMania for who is the real head of the table. Yeah, that, that that would be Brock's last match, I think. Yeah. That's the way he retires. Yes. Either that, There's a lot of bloodline out there. 
that the, they've signed. Yes, yes. They've still got Zilla out there. What I think will be hard, I, I think this is a two year storyline. I don't think this is a one year storyline. No, story no, no, no. I, I think it, it goes on for two years. What will be difficult, and I would wonder how they're going to do this, how they will disperse after the Bloodline, bloodline storyline ends. Because you think Paul Heyman comes back, betrays Roman Reigns? I don't think so. I think Paul Heyman stays with the OG cause as, as the head of the table. Um, he did an interview the other day, and he said, fuck you, Solo, pretty much. See? Had I, the crowd chanting it. Yeah. Like, there's they're doing storytelling even in their interviews. Yes. And, and that's how good storytelling is, right? Yeah. By keeping that kayfabe off. And, and it's crazy. You know who Abyss is? No. Abyss was the uh, the Undertaker of TNA. He wore the mask. He wore the mask. I thought the Undertaker of TNA was Sting. No. No? That match almost happened. Undertaker versus Sting almost happened at WrestleMania I mean, 22. Yeah, kind of. Uh, I would have loved to see that match. I wouldn't have. Why? Because they were too old at the time. Not at 22. Oh, uh, at 22? WrestleMania 22. It was oh, what? I thought you were talking about like recently no, no, when no, Sting no, came no. back. It was supposed to happen at WrestleMania 22, but oh, okay. they couldn't get the contract. That would have made sense. I, and I would have liked to have seen that. The, the old, up, old Sting versus Old Undertaker, I don't think it would have been a good match. They would have done... Uh, they did a casket match for Mark Henry. I didn't agree I didn't agree with that match, but mm-hmm. I would have rather have saw Sting versus Undertaker. Yeah. So let's talk. Like, Wyatt, Wyatt family. White What's suit. going on with that? I haven't seen much about that, but I heard that. So there was a, it's like a photo, a blurred photo, and then it's like it's your last chance. Ivy Nile turned on. Uh, she joined Ameri- American Maid, and turned on Maxine Dupree. Mm. Well, <laughs> last night they were. I, I I don't know who they were wrestling, but. Sister Abigail, or whatever her name is, come in the ring and beat up Ivy Nile and left Chad Gable just laying so on So Sister there. Abigail has been confirmed. It's the, it's Got it. Nikki Cross. So Nikki Cross is Sister Abigail? Yeah. I thought. Alexa Bliss has been on Twitter teasing her return. They're going to add a sixth person, and I think it's Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss, but they're going to – I here's how I booked that. So, Randy Orton had a feud with The Fiend, right? Mm-hmm. Remember this? Yes, yes. So, he had a – That was when they were going through their cinematic yeah, kind of – they did the WrestleMania match. It was for the title, mm-hmm. all that stuff. Alexa Bliss was alongside The Fiend. Mm-hmm. Remember, he got burned. Yes. Alexa Bliss turned on him. I don't didn't know that. Alexa, yeah, Alexa Bliss turned on him. That's how he got burnt. Ah, uh, okay. And he was supposed to wear the burnt, come back as a burnt fiend, but it was too uncomfortable for Bray. Mm. So I think, in my opinion, my booking, I would have Wyatt Six turn on Alexa Bliss, kind of like an initiation to get okay. back in, and she's got you know. Once you're in the family, you can never leave. Exactly. Okay, I like that. Uh, but it's Uncle Howdy versus Chad Gable. He's gonna come out as Uncle Howdy. Is gonna come yeah. out as as. It's Howdy versus. What do you call? Gable. Him, what do you call him? Like his character now, like without the the, the mask. Do you call him? Because you call Bray Wyatt and then the Fiend. Those are two different characters, right? Alter egos, yeah. Yeah, alter egos, correct. Do you call him Bo Dallas and Uncle Howdy or? Yeah. Who is or do because Bo Dallas was Bo Lee, yes. right? No, I, I I can't stand that. I hated that for I, him. I, I don't know why they thought something like that would be good, but I guess they were going towards their PG yeah. audiences. Yeah. So it makes sense with their logic, right? Right. This didn't make sense in the actual execution of it, but I saw where they were going with it. So it's Chad Gable. Well, you never asked him. So what, what do we call him? Bo Dallas? He's Uncle Howdy. When he wrestles as Uncle Howdy, we just call him Howdy. That makes sense. What about when he he wrestles? I don't know if he'll wrestle as Bo Dallas. 
he did come out as Bo Dallas a couple weeks ago. Remember, he was beaten. He was laughing as he was getting his ass kicked. But did the, did the commentators uh, refer to him as Bo Dallas? Yes. Okay. He's got. It's kind of like when uh, Bray did the Firefly Funhouse as Bray Wyatt, and then he would have the, you know, let me let him in kind of thing. I guess the way that I I see it is, they have to alienate that character as far as possible, and they have to kind of. I, I feel like this is a part of the repackaging for mm-hmm. for whatever he is. Yeah. And they have to delete the Bo Dallas altogether. Yeah. It's just like whenever he became Bray Wyatt in The Fiend, they didn't call him... Uh, what, was, what was his original name when he was in NXT? Husky Harris. Husky Harris. They didn't call him Husky Harris. Mm-hmm. So they had to delete that. Instead of Husky Harris, it was Bray Wyatt. Instead of Bo Dallas, what is it now? That, that's what I think. I yeah, yeah, I get it. Do you agree with that or do you disagree? He needs to distance himself from Bo Lee. I, and that's why I say, let's do this to go ahead, to solidify it. And they're doing a great job with the Wyatt Sixers. Yeah. Well-received. Chad Gable versus Uncle Howdy. Bo Dallas hasn't wrestled in a while. Yeah, he's been out of the game for, what, a year and a half? Yeah, because yeah. they released him and then they brought him back. Right. Because he was supposed to have a thing with his brother at WrestleMania. <coughs> so looking at old wrestling, old wrestlers, let's think about this. Yes. And new wrestlers. If you could book any wrestler in their prime against New Day wrestlers, like right now, who would you book? In their prime. I've got one off the top of my head. When you say old, what is your definition of old? How old? Like for, 90, 90, oh, okay, okay, 97 to right now. So like dream matches. Yes. That's what we're doing here. Ah, okay, This okay. is booking with Louise. <laughs> Fantasy booking with Louise. I got one off the top of my head already. Look, my favorite wrestler for a long time and even today is CM Punk. I see that. Prime CM Punk, because I don't think right now he's in his peak. Prime no, he's CM... getting there, though. Oh, wait, right, but right now he's not. No. Prime CM Punk versus one of these two people in their prime. Steve Austin or Roddy Roddy Piper. Ooh. Prime CM Punk versus one of those two. So how would you, how would you book the Roddy Piper feud? Weird, but very similar to the Jericho CM Punk feud. Remember how how Jericho was all about like all about um, not drinking, not drinking, and, and drinking. Well, here's the thing too. I, I would put it as an interview on Piper's Pit and have it start that way. Wasn't that how it started on and and also Jericho and and then the the feud kind of started with that that way with CM Punk. Yeah, he also did that with Shawn Michaels and put him through the TV. Yeah. Kind of like the when uh, Shawn Michaels put Marty Jannetty through the window. Yeah, yeah. On uh, Brutus's TV show. Mm-hmm. Or not TV show. It was like a little segment. Mine would be Kurt Angle and Chad Gable. I could see that. That's very, yes. I, I would love to see that. That would be awesome. Kurt Angle in his prime. Or is this Chad Gable right now? I would love to see that, but I think Kurt Angle runs the circles around. Oh, Chad for Gables. sure. But I they're I both I Olympic. I, and and, and, and uh, it, I'll, I'll do you one further. Chad Gable versus Kurt Angle. Yeah. Kurt Angle decimates. Yeah. Week after week after week. So much so... That Kurt Angle becomes his manager. I was going to say he becomes like a father figure to him. <laughs> exactly. And and then little by little, he says, I don't want to go against you. I want you to succeed. Exactly. And ends up saying little by little, pushing him forward, pushing him forward. Makes him a champion. And that's how he develops Chad Gable. That's how yeah. that's how that's how they should develop somebody like that. Because you look at Chad Gable 
I don't know the Austin Creed and somebody else. I can't remember the other brother's name. Creed Brothers. Yeah. They need a manager. Creed Brothers are new. They come over from NXT. That ranch was good. Paul Heyman showed how much worth there is behind being a good manager. Yeah. And not just a manager, a good manager. He's probably the best in history, in my opinion. I would completely and agree. And hey. there are a lot of great managers out there. Jimmy Hart, he was with Hogan. He was with, you know, uh, what's another one? Paul Ellering. Mm-hmm. He's with the New Testament now. You, He's could, been, talk, you could talk about... Uh, Ric Flair. Ooh. Ric Flair was a manager for Evolution. What's, what's his name? Uh, Undertaker. Paul Bear. Paul Burr. Paul Bear. That was insane. Another match that tickles my fancy. Let me hear it. And it's a women's match. I would like to see Trish Stratus mm. and what what's her name? Trish Stratus. Not Bailey. Who's the other one? Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler. Yeah. You don't think that'd be a good match? I, you threw me off with Shayna Baszler. I did not think that was who you were going to say. Who, who did you think I was going to say? The man. Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch. I think that'd be a good match, too. I was going to say Becky Lynch with Lita. Ooh. That's who I was going to say. See, I loved Lita. Lita. I've always... I always had a thing for the underwear sticking out. No, 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 no not that. <laughs> I've actually, I, actually, that's a very big turnoff for me. Yeah, it really was. Yes, but I've always had for those kind of on the edge cars. Yeah, like they're they're they're, they're Victoria too. Victoria. Um, I'd like to see Victoria versus uh, what is her name? Oh my gosh, the Barbie of Barbie. WWE. She's got some women's money in the bank. What is her name? Oh, I don't know. Tiffany Stratton. Oh, I haven't seen her. Right now, she's got the women's. She's won the women's money in the <clears throat> bank. Yeah. And she's got this thing going with Nia Jax. Because Nia Jax finally appeared as women's champion, and she wouldn't acknowledge her as her queen. I have, to, I have to see. I, I can't. From the top of my head, I can't. It just picture. happened on Friday. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so there's something there. Okay. I like Tiffany Stratton. She's going places. Okay. I'd like to see Tiffany Stratton versus Victoria. That'd be a good match. Okay. I, I can't really say too much of that because I don't know who she, uh, Tiffany's status is. Um, Gail, you know who Gail Kim is? Yes. Uh, I'd like to see her against. Um, Let's see. Think outside of the box here. <laughs> Gail Kim and Oscar. That'd be a good match. What do you think? Let me see if I. You know who Gail Kim is? I'm, I think I, I thought I did. She's Japanese or Korean or something. No offense. You okay, that, that's who I thought. That's who I thought it was. Uh, but she was big in TNA. Yeah, yeah, she was. I can see that. Her, her, her and Asuka? You know what's crazy, though? So let's talk about TNA for a minute. Okay. Is Dolph Ziggler in TNA right now? Nick Namath is his name. He's not Dolph Ziggler anymore. I, I saw... I was scrolling through TikTok, and I saw a match between him and Alberto Del Rio at Triple A. Yeah, Albo, uh, so the thing about Alberto Del Rio, he's had so many, like, criminal cases. But no, so... so C- completely aside from that, I just thought he was. I, th- I thought Dolph Ziggler was in Triple A. No. So whenever I saw it on on TNA, and then he goes by a completely different name, Nick Namath. Nick they Namath. won a championship too. I think he's like their champion right now, yeah, right? I think so. What? Well, what? Good for him. He deserves to be the champion. They did not utilize him right in WWE. He was such. I, we talked about people who he's were, got charisma. He's yes. got it all. We talked last week about people who were underutilized or under uh, underdogs. 
he was always like a lot of people say uh Cesaro. Cesaro's another one, right? Oh my gosh, he could wrestle. I it's, say Dawson. You know who I missed? And he's married to uh he's married to Natalia. Oh, but then he get hurt. He, but he can't wrestle yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah, he got injured. It was WWE's fault. There was a whole I don't think WWE likes the Hart family. There's a whole lawsuit. There was a whole lawsuit, and now they have to. He's, he works behind the scenes. Yeah. Um. Man, he was a good wrestler. All the Hart family uh, individuals are really good wrestlers. Bernie Orton's up there in age. Yes. Yes, he looks good. He's the last of the OGs from. Yeah, for sure. The the two thousand crowd. The ruthless aggression era. Yes. Randy Orton, so he's lost every big match, and he's putting people over, as he should. As he's, he should, right? He's giving back. But there's got to the be the more you do that, the less less it less means. people believe. Yes, it. it's all. But I think, in my opinion, they're building up to maybe a heel turn on Cody, which that would be a good feud because it goes back to uh, legacy. Oh, I remember that. It was him, Ted DiBiase Ted Jr., DiBiase Jr. And, uh, and Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes. Before John Cena retired, or went he'll be, away, he'll right? be retired by December of next year. Be, before he he went away to Hollywood, he went on this huge losing streak. Yeah. And he has... I guess his redemption matches were going to be. They were always, I have to win this match. Yeah. Because if I don't, I'm nobody. He did that with the feud with The Rock. Yeah. Uh, and he he won the, the, the second, second one. Right. Yeah. And he had a shitty year. He got a divorce. <sighs> he lost yeah. a, lot, a lot that year. And then he got his ass kicked by Brock Lesnar. <laughs> But back to Randy Orton. My, my so my, my point in saying that is, I don't think they did it right with John Cena. I've always wanted to see John Cena heel turn. I think. Oh that, my god! That that would have been. And they were hinting at it when he was going to join the Nexus. I remember. I, I remember that. That was like, like this is a time. And he, and, and if he does, because he lost to Wade Barrett. Yeah, and he had to join. The he Nexus. had to join. I. That's one of the few storylines that I remember very vividly. All this to say, they messed up with John Cena. They can redeem themselves by doing it with Randy Orton. And Randy Orton is one of, if not the best heel yeah. in the business. Go back to his punting days where he was just punting people in the head. Rob Van Dam. Uh-huh. Uh, Shane McMahon. Legend killer. <laughs> the feud with Gunther, I don't think it works. I think it works if they're building to, towards him turning heel. Towards him losing more and more But Gunther's and more. a heel. Th that's and, the reason why it doesn't that's work. Why, that's what I'm saying. If it builds towards him turning heel, not that this this will turn him heel, but him losing more and losing more and losing more until he realizes, I have to go into that dark side yeah. to bring that the, dub. The. Randy Orton is one of those people where... Like I said, he's given back to the business. Yes. He's put over <coughs> everybody he's faced this year in big moments. Yeah. It's built he keeps looking at Cody's title. I think they're building towards a legacy. Randy Orton, Cody Rhodes. Last time it happened, Imagine they, they lost. DBSA back. They can't. He got arrested for tax evasion. <laughs> really? Yeah. Ted B Ted DiBiase Jr. is in a last time I checked he was in a lot of trouble. For tax evasion? Something like How that. How much could he really owe? I don't know. Well, have the WWE pay off that debt, and boom, you're back. He's the million-dollar man. You have the, give him the million-dollar title. It was a, He had it. There. No, he didn't. But anyway, it's like, <laughs> what are they? Where does Randy Orton go? Like, he's done everything. The only reason why Undertaker worked is Und because of Kane. Oh, I was going to say it's because of WrestleMania. 
At WrestleMania, he kept winning. The crazy thing is, they built Kane up because Undertaker's original name was Kane the Undertaker. Oh, I know that. Then they dropped. Yeah, I know a lot. Oh, I like that. They dropped Kane, and he just became the Undertaker. Undertaker. Paul Bearer was a real mortician. Mm-hmm. Like he owned a mort. So everything they were doing, <coughs> building caskets and shit. Yeah. That's what Paul Bearer actually did in real life. Yeah. So that worked. The only thing about Paul Bearer is he, he like lost his wife and then mm-hmm. he gained a lot of weight. If you ever watch him when he comes back at WrestleMania 20, he couldn't even get in the ring. Yeah. It was really hard for him to. Yeah. So it was hard to bring him back. And that's why they wrote him off at Great American Bash and put him in cement. I don't know how they did that. And I've also wondered. Okay, keep on. The casket match with Randy Orton and Bob Orton. I don't, I don't remember that. They put him. The Undertaker was in the casket, and then he chops it open and sets it on fire. But when they move it to the back and they open it, Undertaker's not in it. I've always wondered how they do it. He probably were all under the ring. No, he. They. Uh, there's no way. I, I I wanted to see that match again from you to, to analyze it. No mercy, it. 2005. Because that was the year that Randy Orton and Undertaker had Armageddon. Again, I would have to. Okay. Yeah, you got to go back. Send, send send it to me, and I'll watch it. I want to review some things too. Okay. Like I've been listening to the, uh, eighty three weeks with Eric Bischoff and Hey Hey, it's Conrad well, Thompson. Uh. I listen to a lot of podcasts. That's, that's and they've, good. They've been talking about that's them. why you're my to- <laughs> go-to guy for everything wrestling. I just listened to like they were talking about the final uh, episode of WCW Monday Nitro. Mm. We're gonna get into a lot of things. Let's go back to Randy Orton. How, how do you how do you book his? He loses to Gunther, goes back to SmackDown. You think he, he keeps losing? The bad thing is, Bloodline rules everything on SmackDown. Mm-hmm. You know, it's the main thing going. Cody, I don't know if, I'm not going to say Cody needed Roman. But as of right now, until he has a real feud, his title reign is crap. Okay, so uh, uh, we've discussed Randy Orton enough. Who do you think is a real feud? Other than anybody from the Bloodline. Randy Orton. For... You, you think because... Of, I don't think that's a real feud. What? I, look, what and I don't think it's a real feud because you have to have legitimacy under you. It in is order for it to be, No, it's not. In order for it to be a real legacy, feud, you have to have bro. legitimacy. That, that is storyline, not legitimacy. Like, there is there is history behind uh, legacy. There is not legitimacy behind Randy Orton right now. If you lose to Gunther, might as well put Gunther versus, versus Cody Rhodes. They're going to rebuild. There's a and, way. And if they rebuild, if they turn him heel, then we'll talk about it. it but right now. Be, no, it might be something where they just write him off TV for a, a week or two and then he comes back. I don't think that's enough. What, I don't, what, I don't, what would I don't, you do then? I don't think that's enough. I think he has to come back. And he, when he comes back, he comes back heel and he has to feud with Gunther again, beat Gunther, and say, now I'm going for that one. I, I don't even want that title. But I want that title. He's not going to win the World Heavyweight Championship. Is, but at least you see that there's some legitimacy behind. There will be. How do you? How, okay. How do they build the legit, legitimacy for Randy Orton? Because you have to have legitimacy in Randy Orton for it to be a legitimate feud. Or okay. A credible oh, feud uh-huh, with. Uh-huh. with uh... At your storyline right here. Oh, let me hear. I'm excited, man. A couple weeks ago, Cody Rhodes had to watch Randy Orton get his ass kicked. To Gunther. Bloodline. They're building towards it. I'm telling you, they're planting the seed. Okay. It's going to become a jealousy thing. Who's jealous of who? Randy Orton's jealous of Cody Rhodes. He has the the, the title that everybody wants. Mm-hmm. So we're looking at it like, because every time he, he's with them, he's looking at his championship. Subtle, subtle little hints. Yes. Do I think he wins? 
Not no. Okay. How do they build? I don't know. Because they have to. They have to build Randy Orton up in order for it to be a good feud. They have to start. I mean, he's got to lose to. I mean, I don't know if he loses to the bloodline. I think he's. Maybe he fights Roman. I mean, I don't know. He has to win. In order for yeah. Randy Orton to. You have to work up to like. Okay, you start little, right? So who's who's a who, who's someone that he could beat? Carmelo Hayes. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say Santos Escobar. That wouldn't be a good match. Randy Orton and Carmelo Hayes have already had a match. Yeah, he lost. It was the King of Ring tournament. It was a good match. I'd like to see it again, where he wins, and then you start, and then. Uh, have him go through, start picking off the bloodline mm-hmm. little by little, building up to maybe Roman or Solo or something. Have him beat everybody in the bloodline. That builds legitimacy. But then now you start in feuds within the ro- within the bloodline, and that's not going to happen. Yes, it will. Why? Why, why would Randy Orton? Because they took the him bloodline? out. There's st- he still hasn't got his revenge from. Where they took him out and put him through a table. Okay, then. So, what's the outcome in there? Like, what, what's what's the end game in in him feuding with the bloodline or for you people in the? It bloodline? puts him in the title hunt with Cody. Or Randy gets involved in Cody's affairs. Th- th- I that mean, I see more more legitimate. Like, but he has to start winning for him to. In my eyes, and of course, this is my opinion. Everybody has the their bad opinion. thing is. Like I said, Carmelo Hayes. I want to see him wrestle Carmelo Hayes and actually win. You've got this long losing streak on pay per view. Mm-hmm. People are going to lose faith. You got to do something quick. I'm one. I'm losing faith, and I have been for a, a year. Mm-hmm. I mean, the last good match that I've seen him in it was against Edge. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Who do I think are legitimate feuds? For Cody Rhodes. Ooh. I think the only one that I can. He's got to get away right from now, the bloodline. And that's. Away from everything. Uh, everything about this has to be away from the bloodline. I, Seth Rollins is the only person I can put up there to be like, that will draw eyes. That will be good. But that's not going to happen anytime soon because he has to feud. With CM Punk first. Seth's going to feud with Drew first. And then they're going to build up to CM Punk. Yeah. And, I, and, and look. It's all a build up and long come story. Who's in the upper card right now? For Raw or SmackDown? Well, let's talk SmackDown. Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes. Roman Reigns. See, I don't know how they do that. They got to turn Cody heel. No, no. We're just talking about people. No, 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 no. I'm saying. Okay. Roman's the top heel now. Or uh, top baby oh, face, yes. I'm sorry. It's a big... Everybody's talking about the end of SmackDown. They're not talking about the beginning. They're talking about the end because of Roman. And, and so and I, I agree with that. Right now, we're just naming people on the upper okay, cards. So right? Cody. Roman Reigns. Roman. Could you put Celeste Cole in there? I wouldn't. No, he don't deserve it. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. He went on a long losing streak after he beat John Cena. Yeah, no. So I, I, I don't consider that so just them two right right Any, now anybody else on the upper cards Smackdown. and smack them okay let's go to raw raw because we have those two raw seth rollins seth rollins cm Drew punk, McIntyre, McIntyre. CM punk raw is always the a show yeah we, we, of course, there should been. be at least one more no there's more who, who, who else in the upper cards i see i could see Sami Zayn. i say he's upper mid yeah i say he's upper mid card he's like right there I, I, mean, I would probably put Kevin Owens as the bottom of the top. SmackDown. Yeah. He would be the number three. Yeah. So but they got to build their stars. They're not. That's the problem. Yeah. They're not building people. That's like when. I'm, I'm telling you, man, they have too much good talent. And it's so hard to build everybody up at once. The booking sucks. But it's good. I don't think it sucks. I just think it's it's it takes time. 
in this long term. And, and unfortunately, but Vince that, didn't do it. But and, and that's where the problem they have right now. They have too much talent. It takes too much time to build up good storylines, good uh, characters, good if dudes. If Roman wasn't here, L.A. Knight would have been champion. Oh, I would put L.A. Knight at the top. Yeah, I would. L.A. Knight, Logan Paul. I wouldn't. I'll put. I'll, I'll, Not I'll, yet. I'll put him up in mid card. But he. And gotta, I don't even know what's going to happen with that. He's got to show up more. Well, I. I, 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 from what I heard, they took the title away from him because of some legal issues that he was going through. So he got sued. The distributor of his drink, Prime, they sued him. And then he also said something about the gender of the boxer. In I, the think, I think that's what it was. I think they were trying to alienate themselves. They're trying to distance. <coughs> Sorry, distance themselves. I mean, we're building up to Bash in Berlin. Let's talk about those matches real quick and then we'll, yeah, we'll move on. Conclude. So far... <laughs> We got the Terror Twins, Rhea Ripley and Damian Priest. That's what they're calling themselves. Terror Twins? Terror. Terror Twins. twins. Okay. Versus I wouldn't believe Terror Twins. Too. Liv Morgan and Dominic Mysterio. They got their ass kicked last night. Good. Not, no. Damian oh, Priest and Rhea. Oh, crap. Got their ass kicked. Then you got the strap match between CM Punk and Drew McIntyre. You got to touch all four corners to win. It's like a fucking Texas blow up match. I'll have to watch that one, but okay. Cody Rhodes versus Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens turns heel. He loses the match, I think. Kevin Owens? Yeah. And then Gunther versus Randy Orton. I think Gunther wins. There's going to be more added, probably, but that's the official card right now. Most of those are SmackDown. Yeah. Are there any Raw? Gunther Matches? and Randy Orton. Other than that? Not yet. Not yet. They're still <clears throat> building. I mean, they got, what, what's the day? What, what's the day? They'll probably have two more weeks. <laughs> they got 11 days. Yeah, see, almost two weeks. <laughs> we got So, I mean, I don't know where it's going. Wrestling's at its peak. People are leaving AEW to come to WWE. People, fans or people? No, like. Uh, wrestlers. Wrestlers. Um, they don't like the culture over there. I mean, they're doing all in Texas. Look, the only person I really care, and I said this last week, there's two people. It's MJF. I want him to come over. And I don't remember what his he name is. He was a security guard in WWE for a while. I remember that. I, I forgot what his name is. What? Allen Derby? Derby? Derby Allen. Derby Allen. Derby Allen. I think he fills in... That that edgy, that uh, edgy, that crazy, that ed- he's kind of like mankind. He and was he, he's like mankind and uh, Hardy. What's his name? Jeff Hardy and Jeff Hardy combined. Yeah, I see that. Like, that's who he reminds me of, with a twist of a little bit of Sting and yeah, yeah, him. for sure. You know who I want to see, and it's 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 Darby Allen. Darby Allen. Darby. Allen? Darby Darby Allen versus Jeff Hardy. Didn't they do that in NXT? You mean AEW? Oh, in AEW? I don't think so. I know he went against uh, CM Punk. Darby Allen. Yeah. Before all that conundrum. Mm -hmm. But we got a lot of things coming. I mean, Bash in Berlin, August 31st. Bad Blood, October 5th. Same day as uh, UFC 307. Which one? Bad Blood, October 5th, same day as UFC 307. Okay, I don't know why, but I thought September 5th. Like that. They're doing it that quickly. October 5th. October 5th, yeah, that's, that's good. Uh, I mean, I don't know where it goes. But remember, we're on Spotify and everywhere you get your podcasts. Mm-hmm. You can like, comment, subscribe. Spotify, Our Heart Radio. Soon to be Apple. Okay, podcasts. okay, we're working, we're getting there. Look cool. <laughs> All the work we're doing for you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I would like to know. What are they going to comment? What are they going to comment? Your favorite wrestling moment from history. From history? From history. Oh. It could be from anything. WCW, WWWF, WCCW, any of them. Okay. I want to know your favorite moment. I'll do mine. I think 
the feud between CM Punk and Undertaker. That has to be one of my I was there for that moments. match. Wow. I was there for that match. I'm a little jealous. We were in the Meadowlands, Giant Stadium. Okay. And I took my brother with me. Yeah. And we went to WrestleMania. It was WrestleMania 29. That's the same night that uh, John Cena beat The Rock. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, I witnessed that one. That, to me, is probably one of my favorites. Not, not just that fight, but the whole feud with the urn. Oh. I think my favorite <clears throat> feud from history would be Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart. That's a good, that's a good moment. That was real-life hatred. Yeah. That was... He basically said that Bret Hart had an affair with Sonny. You know who Sonny is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know, I didn't know that part. Yeah, he was like, you have sunny days or something like that. Uh, Implying. He had to explain to his wife and all this other stuff. They had real life heat. Yeah. And then they didn't talk for 10 years okay. because and of the All screw. that's yeah, squashed. But next week, I think we're going to talk about that. Let's, okay. Let's the do screw it. job. Let's do it. Go back and watch. I, uh, I, will. I will. Survivor Series 1997. You don't have to watch the whole thing. Watch the build up. The WrestleMania. Uh, there has to be like at least three to four uh, the, docu-series, documentaries. The Iron like Man match at WrestleMania 13 mm-hmm. or 12. WrestleMania 12 or 13. Uh, one of the That was the first ever Iron Man match. Okay. Uh, the build-up to Survivor Series. Sean was hurt. He was doing a lot of drugs. Hard to work with. Just go back and watch that feud. Here. If you got Peacock, you can find it. They have a little section of okay. rivalry. I'll, I'll look for it. But that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the screw job and the outcome and how Vince McMahon created his character. Oh, yeah, because that was a creation of the Vince McMahon character. Because Vince McMahon was He's an announcer at the time. Yeah. So we're going to get to that next week. Oof. We're going to get into that. We're also going to. We're going to start posting shorts. One on TikTok. Suplex Society. You can find us there. I just got to figure out how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, little by little. But like, comment, subscribe. This is Luis. I'm Lucy. Have a great time. Peace.